611 News. Plus, as we mark the start of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, it is October 1st, everybody. A product that promises to help fight one of the devastating side effects of treatment, hair loss. We're going to show you how this cooling cap actually works. Seven forty-three in October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we here at Pixel Eleven want to give you a fighting chance to beat a diagnosis. Absolutely, one in eight women get diagnosed with breast cancer every year, and every year the patients get younger and younger. That is why we are bringing breast cancer screenings to your community. Yeah, early detection is so key. And Pixel Eleven's Tamson Fidel, she's live in Harlem this morning. Good morning to you, Tamson. I know this is such a cause that is near and dear to your heart, and that's why you press forward with this every October first. Hey guys, yeah, thank you so much, and thanks for saying that. Uh, you know, it really, really is, and some of you know the story already, but my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer when I was 14 years old and went through a six year uh, battle with breast cancer before uh, dying when I was uh, 20. She was just 50 years old, and looking back, it's just so young right now. Uh, but it's all about early detection, and that's why this is so near and dear to my heart. This is an organization that I've worked with for years. Scanban goes community to community all around New York City, giving women free mammograms, women who are underinsured, women who have no insurance. So we're out here this morning in Harlem, and I got to tell you, I, I'm, I'm begging you, if you've not had a mammogram and you're a woman over the age of 40 and you do not have insurance or you're underinsured, please make a phone call or just come on by. The phone number's right here, 1-800-564-6868, and they will give you a mammogram and or a free screening. So we're talking a lot of, about a lot of different things this morning. We're going to be outside the Ryan Center. We've got doctors here on hand survivors on hand, but we're also talking about different treatments that are available, especially treatments that make chemo just not so difficult. Take a look at one of them. For a while, it was, why me? Why did this happen? At 31 years old, Therese Curry got a call that every woman dreads. The cancer was stage 2A invasive ductal carcinoma. That was a very hard pill to swallow. What came next for this newlywed was a lot of fear and anxiety. As soon as I heard chemotherapy, I was devastated. And the first thing that came out of my mouth, I don't want to lose my hair. I didn't want my new husband coming home to a bald wife. Therese endured four and a half months of an aggressive treatment plan. Six rounds of chemotherapy over 18 weeks and I had four different types of chemotherapy. Although she couldn't control the emotional and physical toll of chemo, she was able to control one thing thanks to an innovative treatment offered at New York Presbyterian while Cornell Medical Center. I kept, I would say majority, I would say 60, 70 percent of my hair I kept. Being able to keep your hair and look in the mirror, that gave me some, some control of this horrible situation. Therese underwent cold cap therapy, which decreases one of the most dreaded side effects of chemo for women. You know, cold cap therapy is really empowering. It enables a woman to maintain her sense of well-being, her sense of self-esteem, and importantly, her privacy during what can be a really, really difficult time. So, Therese, how are you feeling? I'm feeling really, really good. The Dignicap scalp cooling system is the first device to receive FDA clearance. It's now being offered at several hospitals across the tri-state. It freezes the follicle to kind of constrict the blood vessels on the scalp so that the chemotherapy doesn't reach the follicle. The cap um, is worn for about an hour before the chemotherapy starts and then for two to three hours after the end of chemotherapy. The minimal side effects don't last long. The patient does um, experience very cold temperatures for the first 15 to 20 minutes. It's somewhat like a brain freeze. Um, some patients complain of a migraine. Jennifer Goldman learned about Dignicap following her breast cancer diagnosis a little over a year ago. The very first thing um, that I thought about when I got the diagnosis was immediately my children. For this mother of two, the cold cap therapy allowed her to break the stereotype of what a cancer patient looked like to the outside world. To have that not be what defines you while you're going through it because it takes so much else, it doesn't have to take your appearance. Jennifer underwent 16 rounds of chemo, and with Dignicap, she started experiencing hair regrowth during her treatments. I mean, this is four months after treatment. If you didn't know, you wouldn't 
no. Both Jennifer and Therese still have ports for ongoing treatments. They also have a lot of fight left in them. The why me has turned into what now? Um, because I see that it's an epidemic. Young, young women are getting breast cancer and they don't know why. So early detection, it saves lives. And that is what it is all about, is early detection. Look, nothing makes this any easier but to try and reduce some of the side effects of chemotherapy, both physically and emotionally for women with regard to hair loss is what it's all about. Right now, this is covered, the cost absorbed by the patient and, of course, uh, the hospitals, but they're trying to lobby and get this covered by insurance companies eventually. Guys, we're going to be out here in Harlem, right outside Ryan Center all morning long. Free mammogram scan van is here doing what they do year-round not just in the month of October. Come on out and see us or give them a call for a free mammogram and we'll see it coming up in just a little bit. Dan, Betty, uh, thank you for the time this morning and we'll yeah. send it back to you guys. Yeah, that's so important. That's so amazing, that cap, because I remember my grandmother had cancer and her big concern was losing her hair, mm -hmm. as it is with many, so many women, and that was every single day she'd say, my hair, my hair, my hair. Well, it's part of our identity as women, a lot of us, and this is so important, too, though, because folks don't know if they have cancer and get out there. It's free. You might as well get checked. It could save your life. All right, Tamsin, thank you.